I can relate in my, my earlier years and the I'm a child of the 60s and 70s. My band opened for The Who, we opened for The Cream. We had an album out on ABC. Our sister group was Joe Walsh and the James Gang. Our producer was Bill Sensor. All these great musicians. But I had a little twist in my path. You know, when I was a kid, I was an artist. I used to paint. And then I got bit by rock and roll and ran away with the circus. And then uh, the oddest career move came from this big, burly biker buddy of mine that was from Cleveland, and he was in Paramount, and he was just transferring tapes, and these two guys were standing behind him asking if anybody knew about synthesizers, and I, at the time I was the, the keyboard tech for Joe Zahano from Weather Report, and he goes, about synthesizers? You gotta talk to my buddy Alan, man, yeah, he knows all about that synthesizer stuff, he works for Weather Report. And they go, the one at 7 o'clock or 11 o'clock? They don't know. But they, they take my number, and I go down, and I, I meet with them and I go, what are you guys doing? They say, well, we're doing Star Trek The Motion Picture. You know, it's coming from TV, it's going to be a movie. Uh, would you make an audition tape? So oh, sure, what do you want? It says, make the sound of the Starship Enterprise going from warp one to warp seven. So I go back and I have a little dining room setup. I got a little Prophet 5 synthesizer and TF4 track and I dial up the sound. And I turn it in and that sound became the sound of the Starship Enterprise. So, so that started me on the movie stuff. The, um, the editor from that Star Trek, a fellow named Todd Ramsey, his next movie was Escape from New York. I got on there as a sound effects person, but then I got introduced to John Carpenter, came over to the same silly dining room studio in Glendale, played him some stuff, and Carpenter, after about I go, yeah, let's do it. My first score was Escape from New York. So the 80s was really marked by John Carpenter and Star Trek. I, I had gigs going the whole time. I actually was able to come off the road, get married, buy a house. So my good news is, all you guys, there's life after rock and roll. It's not over. <laughs> so one short story, uh, one short story. People want to know, where does this stuff come from, right? So I'm working on the movie Poltergeist. I'm sitting in a room, I got Steven Spielberg, Michael Kahn, Frank Marshall, all the sound effects guys from Star Trek are the sound effects guys. And I'm the special sound effects. I'm the guy who's gonna make, make the stuff up. And we come to this part in the movie where we're, um, it's called the Carol Ann voice. The little girl is no longer in the room. We're going to hear her voice as her, as just hear her voice. Everybody's going to look up and see him and go, <laughs> and I go, Stephen, what do you want her voice to sound like? And he goes, Earth to Venus. It's great. You're looking at me. I'm Earth, Earth to Venus. Well, of course I say, oh, it's brilliant. And then I go out in the hallway and I start to sweat. I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh my God, if I don't get this right, I'm fucked. I can't believe it. And, and like I spent a week's worth of trying. I mean, this is all analog stuff. There's no computers. The only digital thing I had was a even high harmonizer. It was sound and electronic. So it had to be done with tape and organic and stuff like that. And I'm riding, riding in my car, please leave, driving in from Paramount. And, uh, one sec, what's on here? And on the radio comes this song. Uh. Engineer, it turns out there was a headphone bleed from another tape when they were recording this stuff. So I went back to the studio, all right, thank, thank you. And uh, I took the tape and I put it backwards and I played it backwards into reverb. And I was on four tracks, so I did it. You know, and I had a very speed and, rah, 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 and I put reverse reverb on her voice. So now in the movie you hear, Yummy! And I got my gig. So that's the funny stuff. You just never know where it's coming from. What an honor to be here, to be with these great musicians, and my lifelong buddy, Doogie. What a buddy. Thank you.